at 11, a man is defending his family's pet store after viewers reached out to RTV6 saying they were sold sick puppies. Yeah, the store has been on the Kokomo Humane Society's radar after numerous complaints about unhealthy conditions. Only RTV6's Graham Hunter is talking to a former employee about what she saw while working there. It makes me sad every time I look at it. I couldn't go in there again if I had to. Linda Brenner and her daughter Tiffany went into Pets Choice in December of 2017. She spotted this cute little boxer puppy. Here you go. Is that better? She said, I think he's sick. They bought him for about 800 bucks and took him to a vet where they got bad news. The vet told them that he had so many things wrong with him. They were told it had genetic deficiencies. Well, they had to euthanize him. Of course, that ruined Christmas for everybody. We stopped by Pets Choice today. The door was locked and customers were being turned away until eventually Miles Handy, who says his wife owns the store, came outside. And are you getting dogs in here that have genetic deficiencies from these breeders at all? Well, um, no, um, not to our, our knowledge. I tried to show him the video Brenner's daughter sent us. Does that puppy look familiar to you there? I can't see, I'm sorry. It's blurry. Let's see if I... I, I still can't see it. I can't see that. Brenner says he refunded the money and paid their vet bill. Well, hey, if, if I felt there was something wrong uh, with with the dog and it ended up getting sick and I made good on giving them $800, sure. Not everyone has problems with dogs they buy there. We bought a dog there and we did recently and it's been totally healthy and love him dearly. We talked to a former employee who asked not to be identified. She says she once went to buy dogs on Handy's direction. Like I went into a barn and the puppies were in there. They were all covered in poop and just dirt and mud. They were all just filthy, all of them. She handed over about 500 bucks for the dogs. How much would you turn around and sell those dogs? 1500 for each of them. They were, they were female yellow labs. Handy insists the dogs he sells are healthy and receive vaccines for Parvo. Well, some of them have one, some of them have two. Some of them might have, have three. We talked to a veterinarian this week who says in order to have full immunity to Parvo, dogs younger than four months need at least four shots. Handy leaves it up to his customers to make sure that's done. The pups that leave here usually have two um, after eight weeks, so that's why it's very important to have the aftercare. Reporting in Kokomo, Graham Hunter, RTV6. The Kokomo Humane Society says despite unhealthy conditions observed in Pets Choice, they're not breaking any Indiana laws. A local vet clinic says they've treated many puppies bought at that store for Parvo. If you see something in your community that you think is wrong but don't know where to turn, contact RTV6 at workingforyou at rtv6.com.